The date is April 27, 2019, and Alabama hockey fans are holding their breath. The two big hockey teams in the state are about to butt heads for a championship. Both teams want to win. Both teams hate the other with a burning passion. The arena is packed, not an empty seat in the house. An entire season of hard work for both teams has led up to this point. One team is fighting to win, the other is fighting for survival, and it all leads to now. But who are these two teams? Why do they hate one another? And did you say ice hockey in Alabama? Well, yes I did. And to answer those questions, we need to go back. Like 2004 back. The Southern Professional Hockey League is a semi-professional hockey league based in the mostly southern United States. The league is below the ECHL and consists of 10 teams as of the time of recording. The league was founded in 2004 from the ashes of the Southeast Hockey League. Of all the teams that were in the league at the time of its founding, only three of the original teams are still around in their original location or name. The Knoxville Ice Bears, Fayetteville Marksmen, at the time called the Fire Ants, and the Huntsville Havoc. Teams would come and go throughout the years, but the league remained successful. The prior mentioned Huntsville Havoc are one of the more successful teams in the league, winning the championship multiple times and topping the league in attendance numbers, with sellout attendance being a common occasion. In 2010, the Huntsville Havoc would win their first championship against the Mississippi Surge in a sweep. In 2018, the Havoc would win their second championship against the Peoria Rivermen in the deciding Game 3 of the series. Ice hockey in Huntsville is nothing new to those who live there. The city has hosted multiple professional hockey teams such as the Huntsville Blast, the Huntsville Channel Cats, and now the Huntsville Havoc. The city was also home to the University of Alabama Huntsville Chargers, a team that won multiple national championships in the 90s. The team, as of the time of recording, is waiting for a conference to join after being revived by the people of Huntsville, as well as alumni players after being discontinued. In the 2017-18 season, another Alabama hockey team joined the league. The Birmingham Bulls officially joined the league at the conclusion of the 2017 season. A little fun fact about the Bulls, this is the third time Birmingham has had a pro team called the Bulls. The first Birmingham Bulls were members of the WHA and almost got to sign this star player named Wayne Gretzky. I don't know if you've heard of him, he only scored like 2,857 points and his number is retired league-wide. Anyway, the second version of the team was in the East Coast Hockey League and didn't last all that long. The Bulls didn't have a good inaugural season, failing to make the playoffs and finish ninth in the league with a record of 22-28-6, only six points away from the last spot. When they joined the league, the rivalry with Huntsville wasn't even big. In fact, I can recall some fans welcoming the Bulls since they were just another team from Alabama. Any tension between them was sort of friendly rather than vicious. When the Havoc won their second championship that season, Bulls fans even congratulated them on the win. You could even argue that there wasn't even a rivalry to begin with. It was only heading into the end of the 2019 regular season where the rivalry really took form. As the regular season went on, Huntsville and Birmingham began disliking one another. Fans getting into arguments, altercations, and trash talk online became more common. It wasn't at the point where it became violent all the time like English football fans on occasion, but it was noticeable if you were more involved in the fan bases. To understand the Huntsville and Birmingham rivalry, you have to see the larger picture. Huntsville and Birmingham are the two largest cities in the state. The rivalry is similar to the Yankees and Red Sox or Dodgers and Padres, two large cities located close to one another. One team has had plenty of success while the other has had little in comparison to none at all. But here's the main element. In 2019, the city of Birmingham had the largest population, the largest metro area, more professional sports teams, and more attention. Huntsville, on the other hand, had the second largest city population, less pro sports teams, and less attention compared to Birmingham. However, Huntsville had a secret weapon. The city was growing, and growing fast. Out of all the other cities in the state, Huntsville has the largest growth rate. Projections at the time showed that Huntsville would overtake Birmingham in population within the next two years, and in August of 2021, they did. This only fueled the rivalry between the two cities, but it's 2019, and all the fans wanted to do was play hockey and hate the other side. Here are the final standings heading into the playoffs. Peoria won the regular season championship and the William B. Coffee Trophy. 
the Ice Flyers get 7th in a tie with the Marksmen by goal difference, and the Storm and Thunderbolts miss the playoffs. At the start of the playoffs, we have the challenge round. You don't know what that is? Well, allow me to explain. To set the field for the quarterfinal matchups, the top four teams in the standings get to choose any of the lower four playoff teams to take on in the first round. The first place team gets to pick first, then the second place team picks second, and so on. Once the teams choose their opponents in an entry draft-like challenge round selection show event, the quarterfinal is set. Fans were understandably divided over this rule, and the league would eventually get rid of it, but in its defense it made the first round unique from all the other hockey leagues. But moving on. First place Rivermen picked the fifth place Rail Yard Dogs, which was quite cocky of them honestly. Usually the first place team picks the last place team, then the second picks the seventh, and so on. But Peoria wanted a real challenge. The Bulls picked the eighth place Marksmen, the Havoc picked the seventh place Ice Flyers, and the Ice Bears picked the sixth place Mayhem. Let's take a look at the Rivermen and Dogs playoff series. How are the regular season champions doing? Oh my god, they got swept. Wow. In an upset that no one saw coming, the regular season champions with a 40 win season will not win a single playoff game in 2019 and go home early. Call it karma for the cockiness, I guess. Way to go, dogs. Huntsville won their first playoff series two games to one, same with Birmingham. Huntsville would take on old rival Ice Bears in round two, while Birmingham took on the Cinderella Rail Yard Dogs. Huntsville would sweep the Ice Bears and win the final game of the series with an overtime goal from Kaiser. Birmingham had to fight a little harder in round two, but would end the Dogs' Cinderella run and go play for their first ever championship and only their second full season. The 2019 President's Cup Final was unique. It was an interstate series. The only thing separating these fierce rivals was Interstate 65, a stretch of pavement connecting the two cities, only an hour and a half away from one another. The teams would adopt the name Battle for Bama for the series. The hype was real, and so was the tension. Birmingham won home ice advantage for being the higher seed. Each playoff series, as you may have realized by now, is a best of three. Game one would be in Birmingham, game two is in Huntsville, and if a game three is needed, it will be back in Birmingham. April 26, 2019, game one of the series, packed house, game starts off as expected. Both teams played rough and wanted that trophy badly. The Bulls would get on the board first, only for Huntsville to respond in the second and tie it up. Then with 17 seconds left in the second period, Huntsville would take the lead. The third period saw more physical play than the prior two periods and would end in a tie. We need overtime. The next goal would be huge and would give the winner a huge advantage and breathing room going into game two. But eventually we had a winner, and it was Huntsville. We will head up north for a championship clinching game two. Allowing Huntsville to have home ice advantage for a game they could win the championship in is a huge issue for Birmingham. As I mentioned earlier, Huntsville tops the attendance charts on a normal occurrence and the fans are loud. They're called the rowdiest hockey fans in the South for a reason. They are loud, loyal, and will let you know when you make a mistake. Another comparison to take note of is the venue. Birmingham's venue is a small civic center that also happens to be a hockey rink. It can hold a tad over 4,100 fans, and it is not the largest venue in the league, not even close to others such as Knoxville and Peoria. Hell, the seating doesn't even go completely around the playing surface. It goes around on three sides, and then there's a giant wall that connects the lobby. Also, the arena isn't even in the city of Birmingham. It's in Pelham. Huntsville, on the other hand, plays at the Probst Arena at the Von Braun Center. The arena can hold around 9,000 fans, double of Birmingham's. The task was daunting for the Bulls, facing the loudest crowd in the league, down in a series, in a game that will see them eliminated if they fall short. April 27th, 2019, Game 2 of the series. We talked an awful lot to get to this point, but you know the story leading up to now, so let's see what happened. And since I happened to be at the game myself with my friends, here's how it all went down. We saw the same physical play from Game 1. The only difference was that Birmingham knew what was at stake, and was more physical and rough than ever leading up to now. Just like Game 1, Birmingham got on the board first. Huntsville didn't wait at all to tie it. In the second period, Huntsville would take a 2-1 lead by Kyle Sharkey. Huntsville would lead 2-1 going into the final period. The third period saw rough playing. Birmingham wanted to stay alive no matter the cost. But Sharkey wasn't done that night and scored a tough goal. Sharkey celebrates as his helmet flies off, but the Bulls were not done yet. They would score a goal with four minutes left. Bulls throw a Hail Mary and pull the goalie, but it wasn't enough. 
Huntsville scores with 48 seconds left in the third. The arena explodes. The players on the ice dash over to the bench to celebrate. The clock ran down and the Havoc went on to win their third SPHL championship and went back to back. The battle for Bama, the war on I-65, whatever you want to call it, it was over. Huntsville was the winner. The Huntsville and Birmingham rivalry is still alive to this day. Both sides still despise one another and continue their trash talk. Anytime the teams meet up, the battle for Bama name is brought back up. But the 2019 final is often cited as a real battle, or at least the one that counted more. The Bulls made the championship final, even scraping by Huntsville to get there in the deciding game three, but ultimately lost in the championship again, this time to the Dogs. <laughs>